I went from being a lost, broke uni student, no ambitions, no dreams in life, to living my dream life as a content creator with over 2 million followers, working towards my dream body, relationships, I physically glowed up. I'm gonna break down exactly how I changed my life and how you can and will change your life in 2023. I wanna preface this by saying I am so excited and happy to be doing this video. I feel like I have so much knowledge on how to actually change your life and like achieve your dreams in a way because I was a person who genuinely had no ambitions, had no goals. Honestly, I was living on autopilot. I couldn't even picture where my life would be in five years time. Now I live my dream life and I want to show you guys how to. I just want to say that this is not going to be a video on how to do a vision board or to-do list or whatever. Although I do believe those things help. So if you guys want a video on that, let me know. This is purely going to be about the mindset that you need to achieve your dreams. The simplest way I can put it is if you take actions towards your dreams, you will achieve them. It's crazy because a lot of the times we all have these goals and ambitions and then we do the exact same thing every single day and then wonder why we're not actually getting to where we want to be. If you want to live in your dream city doing your dream job, you have to take the actions to get there. If you don't apply for jobs in that city, you're never going to get there, right? Essentially, where you put your energy will manifest. First and foremost, set intentions. I want you to genuinely take a second, take a day if you need, and picture your dream life. What does your dream life look like? What are you wearing? What job do you have? Where do you live? What does it smell like? Picture that life in the greatest detail that you can. The reason I say this is because how are you possibly meant to set goals for your dream life if you don't know what your dream life is to begin with? That's how I started out. I did do a vision board, but you don't have to. I sat down during lockdown. I had a little break and moment to actually think about what would I love to do every single day of my life? What is my dream life actually like? Unfortunately, a lot of the times we don't actually allow ourselves to think of this dream life. So I like to start with the bigger picture because ultimately this year will be a stepping stone towards that dream life that you want. After this, this is the point that you ask yourself, am I on the right path? Does your dream life align with what you are doing at the moment? For me, it wasn't. I was a master student doing clinical immunology that does not align with being a content creator. So I needed to switch up what I was doing completely. You may not need to, for example, now where I am in life, what I'm doing aligns with my dream life. So 2023 isn't a switch up for me. It's about doing things bigger and better. Is 2023 about leveling up or is it about changing up? Really important distinction. Now you can set your intentions. Do you wanna eat healthier? Get your dream job, find your dream home. What are your intentions? A big issue is that often we set intentions but not clear goals. Intentions aren't goals. Eating healthier isn't a goal because it's not measurable. How are you supposed to know if you achieve that intention? What does it mean to eat healthier or exercise more? If you only set intentions and not goals, by February you've already forgotten everything and you're back to living your life on autopilot. For example, if you want to exercise more, set a goal of going maybe three times a week. If you want to eat healthier, maybe introduce three new healthy foods to your diet. So now for each of your intentions, you have set a clear goal. Now you have a plan of action. You know exactly how you're going to get to where you want to be. Excuse the little shift in things, my camera died. Okay, so great, we have a plan of action. This means nothing if you don't actually stick to it. So how do you stop yourself from slacking off and forgetting completely about all your intentions that you set? One word, habits. You have to implement good habits into your daily routine. Your motivation will waver. Motivation comes and go, but we are creatures of habit because habits don't require willpower. Some good habits that I've introduced into my life are waking up early, cleaning up after myself as I do something, a <laughs> very big thing for me. I set myself a to-do list every single day. Think about what good habits you could introduce into your life that would make your daily life easier, make the things that you wanna accomplish easier, and also just make you feel better inside. I think that's a big part of all of this. I will say, however, that it can be quite overwhelming to introduce all these new habits into your life in one day. If you can, amazing. If you can't, then don't worry. I would just start by introducing one new habit a week. If you introduce one new habit a week and you stick to it and repeat it in your daily life, give it one month and you will already be in a better place. In six months? Wow, guys, the way your life will change. But most of all, out of everything that I said, the most important thing is keeping the promises you make to yourself. If you say you're going to do something, do it. If you don't, all you're doing is teaching your brain that you can't trust yourself. Be hungry to achieve your dream. Prove to yourself 
that you will do what is necessary to get to where you want to be in life. Believe in yourself, love yourself, you will change your life in 2023. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that this helps even just one of you guys and most of all inspired you for 2023. I really wanted to keep this concise and just talk about the theory behind achieving your dream. If you want me to get into the real nitty gritty of how to do it, vision boards, to-do lists, setting your goals, let me know and I will make a whole different video on that. That will probably be a lot more aesthetic than this one. This one was more straight to the point. I love you guys endlessly and I hope you do as well. Like, love yourself, not me. I mean, also, please love me. <laughs> Good luck for 2023, my loves.